Hi, everybody out there in Artland. <laughs> this is Carl Altstetter, and uh, what you're looking at is a video of my sketchbook. Uh, this sketchbook has been with me for going on perhaps eight to ten years, and it's never actually been completed. It's about three quarters filled with uh, various little ideas, sketches, clippings from uh, other artwork that I've done and just kind of knickknacks, little artifacts, little ideas and I thought it might be interesting to share some of those ideas with the world. It's a chance for me to show you what goes into my thought process when I'm creating artwork. So um, as you can see this sketchbook has tons of stickers on the front, tons of stickers on the back and I've never really been great at keeping sketchbooks. Uh, I know they say, you know, drawing your sketchbook every day, but I've never really been that kind of guy. I sort of just take a piece of paper, draw on it, throw it in a pile, uh, or throw it in a folder, which I guess is kind of like a sketchbook, but I guess the idea of a sketchbook always kind of scared me off. When you open it up and you see that blank piece of paper, you often ask yourself, man, I've got to do something. You know, what kind of great idea am I going to put in this? And then you end up sort of just drawing the same old thing that you always were going to, that you always draw anyways. So um, with this sketchbook, I decided to have a slightly different approach, which was anytime I did a sketch or any little idea I had, little color idea, I would just clip it out, tape it or glue it in and fill the sketchbook up that way. So in that sense, it's somewhat of a scrapbook as well as a sketchbook. So some stuff was actually drawn inside and other stuff, like I said before, was just clipped and taped or glued inside. So um, without further ado, let's take a look inside. That was a sound effect for you guys. Um, so here we have a couple different designs, some more stuff. As you can see, some stuff's clipped in. Some, yeah, this is clipped in also. Okay, that one's clipped in too. So yeah, a lot of clipped in stuff. So let me start at the beginning and I'll talk you through each of the drawings. So this drawing is a picture of a character that is kind of like a Sharon Apple or an Eve from Megazone type character, a computer generated character. And I wanted her to kind of have that feeling where she was always being rendered on the fly. So when she appeared to characters in the story, her hair, like you can see here, would sort of be active all the time, always moving, always being regenerated by the computer. And um, it's a character that I've done lots of different drawings of, but I've never really found a place for her in the right story. So uh, hopefully someday I'll get around to using her. I think it's a fun design and I love the concept, so I'd like to find a place for it at some point. So this character, uh, I was going through a phase with a lot of characters at that time where I would draw them with huge feet and baggy pants. I guess it was kind of that um, electronic music thing, the look that you would see at the dances and all that kind of thing. and. Um, so I was always kind of putting that in my work at that time. Uh, you know, the puffy shoulder kind of armor plate type stuff. You can see that there. I was really into it. And I kind of also liked people to sort of have characters to sort of have the look of being workers. Like, they actually had to work really hard so they needed clothing that fit what they did. And sort of had that lived in look. As you can see with this character, same design, I just uh, did a color treatment of it with watercolor pencils, and uh, which I was had a huge kick on those for a while, just because they're so immediate and they're fun to use. Uh, this is a combination of markers and watercolor pencils, all mixed into one. Hopefully this won't blur out too much, but I'm getting an idea there. Lots of white out. Uh, this character... Um, doesn't really have a backstory, but the style that I drew the character in kind of does. And I was really 
during that period of time. I was also on a big kick with elongated figures, elongated arms. I kind of wanted the characters to have this sort of stretched out look. Um, and, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it, sometimes it didn't. Uh, I also had this idea where I wanted characters to wear kind of suits, you know, with vests and pinstripes and buttons and swords and tennis shoes. That was really big for me. I really wanted that kind of whole look in my character design. And uh, you'll see probably throughout this sketchbook me doing that kind of thing again and again and again. Trying to find something to latch onto creatively. I guess everybody goes through that, but I definitely went through it with uh, this sketchbook. So here, uh, we have another marker, watercolor pencil treatment of a character. Um, this long panel here is actually a cutout piece of a layout that I did for another comic book. But I liked it. I liked the little detail on the characters. Hopefully this won't blur out, but uh, you can see there's kind of a little crowd scene there that I liked. I liked the, the emotion in the character, so I cut it out and put it in there. And here's another example of sort of the punky kid, um, raverish, big feet and guns kind of thing that I was doing at that time. And I had a lot of fun with it. I liked it, obviously. And, uh... So, um, this character, <laughs> another one with the markers, colored pencil. Uh, I think I did it over a photocopy. And he's white out and colored it, pasted it in. And, um, more of the same, trying to get that sort of elongated look in my characters. Um, now this was an idea that I had for a toy line years ago, before I'd even worked in the toy industry. And it was about a kid that kind of had these cyber animals or something like that. I think I mainly just wanted to draw like a big frog guy and a big gorilla. I think every artist wants to draw gorillas, pirates, ninjas, mecha, anything like that. So uh, this was me doing that. And I was so proud of it at the time because I thought it made this cool logo and then everybody pointed it out to me that it looked like Ozo Motley. So I kind of had to dump it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this was just a couple sketches that I did for it. Never really got off the ground. Um, so another idea I had for it, where the, um, the animal, the humanoid cyber animal guys, they had vehicles that had their imprint or style upon them. Um, like I said, it was just a one-off concept, and there's probably a good reason that it never made it out of my sketchbook, because it's just a wacky, wacky idea. So, um, anyways, this is my first time uh, doing this video sketchbook thing, so I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll tune in next time, which hopefully will be sooner more than later, and uh, let me know what you think.